All right, hello everyone. This is Day Trader Rockstar for DayTradingRadio.com, and just putting out another uh, market uh, research video, and basically going to go over. This is actually going out to the public, and I'm just going to start off with the S&P 500 review going into Monday morning. Uh, the daily chart show, shows a very bullish crossover on the stochastics here. We had a nice push up to the 20, but how do we get past that 20? I think the real key here is on the 60-minute chart. And looking at the 60-minute chart here, what we have here is a um, potential trend line break um, just at the last hour of the day yesterday. But we have here is the, the 11.05 to 11.06 area where the 200 period moving average coming in. Now, recently, the 200 was... Uh, let me take care of some of these trend lines here. And I have some other targets here for later on. But I'm going to get rid of the trend lines for now. And you can see the 200 period moving average here was came back here. And this is on the 60 minute time frame. So this is the 60 minute chart with the 200 EMA on it. And it's a very good chart for this. Um, the EMA, the 200 EMA is a very good uh, moving average for the, both the 60 minute, the 5 minute, and the daily. Even works well on the 15 minute. But the 60 minute, you can see back here on the 28th how it bounced off. And once we broke through it, that first retest of it came back. We're closing up towards it again. And that's why I feel that this is a very bullish tractor beam type of magnet that's sucking the uh, price level up towards this level. And this is around uh, 11.05. So a little further upside on the market um, going into this week. A uh, 15-minute chart doesn't give us much more to work with. See, again, stochastics are bullish, but the 60-minute really gives us a clear-cut level to look for. And then we can even head higher off of that level. This will be the second second test of that 200-period uh, moving average. So it looks great. I think we have a decent test of that level. Stochastics seem to be embedded here. So I'm going to go over a couple stocks that I didn't um, go over earlier. I did send out the uh, 10 for 1,000 watch list on uh, day trading radio site and um, there's a couple stocks that I'm going to continue to research all night I'm going to send this out on the website also and these are stocks that I go over each day um, again we'll be trading these stocks tomorrow and early this week Goodyear tires um, I'm going to add this to the watch list the daily chart looks very good here nice downward inverted uh, slanted inverted head and shoulders pattern here you can see the trend line here very strong neckline but what really comes into play here is this cons uh, the stochastic um, base here. The, the move up, the move down, the move down, the move up, the move down, and move back up here. It's actually trading a little channel. It's a little divergence channel here. And I've seen this happen on a lot of different stocks. And I know how what happens is you get a break of this channel right here. And that corresponds with a break of this downward trend line. So definitely put this on the list. And this is actually going up for the people listening from the last video. Last video I did was t t talking about trend line retracements. Now I put out about six to seven stocks that are setting up on trend line retracements. I'm going to go back and review those seven stocks next Sunday to go back. So I want to really prove those out. And again, um, try to go over. You know, this is a great setup going into this week. And again, looking for this breakout tomorrow. So add this one to the watch list and watch for the, that trade tomorrow on on the uh, on the show. Um, Let's see what else we got here on the DX, TLC. These are some very bullish setups, which I haven't gone over yet. Uh, Sherwin-Williams, nice flag. These are called flags. Basically, you have a nice run-up represented by, uh, you know, just a, an upward move here. And then a slight downward channel here of a, a flag. This is the way the flag falls. So a very nice channel. You can see this, the, the beautiful reaction here, just up and down and up. Very easy to see this channel line here. And pushing right back up here now. Now we got a we got a crossover and divergence here in the uh, stochastics, meaning that we got a bullish crossover here, and we're up at the part of the up part of this channel line. So I'm gonna look for that break at this point on S H W um, S H W Sherman Williams. And um, when we do see that, we'll probably come back revisit that and explain why exactly that happened. All right, next stock. Again, these are very bullish. Uh, Gannett, Gannett uh, GCI, GCI. We talk a lot about lower trend lines and 
200 period moving averages. Beautiful combination. That was another video I was going to do. I'm going to do that video tomorrow for you guys. Right now, I just concentrate on the trend line retracement. But the lower trend line 200 tag is is textbook. This is a good example of that that uh, strength coming in. And we're breaking out of that ch channel line. Another channel line with a divergence. And we talked about the channel in the, uh, well, this one's even a kind of a wedge pattern in the stochastics. And the breakout of the stochastics here represented by a, a breakout of the channel here. So very nice example of how that's going to set up and how that did set up. Allegheny Tech ATI, symbol ATI. Very bullish setup. Again, downward trend line here, very established. And again, here we go, the wavy action in the stochastics. Coming off that second wave here, we're going to get a push all the way up to the 100 and get that breakout. So another very bullish stock. There's so many bullish setups this week that I have to make and send out videos now to everyone just so we'll make sure everyone gets into some of these here. Again, we got the pay chart, uh, Verifone. We talked about that on the site. That's on the 10 for 1,000 watch list. And um, uh, COV here. COV is one of my best bets here going into this week. Beautiful downward trend line and a positive cross over here on this, uh, on this stock here. So we're pushing up against the top of the trend line here once again. And we have a bullish crossover and a nice little channel here on the, uh, the lower channel. But just this little wave action here. And excuse my uh, my 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 uh, trend line that wasn't really intact here. But just little, just this little action here, in and out, in and out. We're gonna break out of here and move higher. Beautiful setup. This is the best bet, bet of the week, along with WFT and some other ones. So if um, if you wanna come and join me. During the day, you get to tune in to www.daytradingradio.com. See these stocks live on my screen and watch how I trade these and uh, announce any setups that do ha appear in the market. I do uh, bring these to your attention. So come on by. I uh, hope to see you in the markets. It's me signing off for the night. Futures are uh, holding their own here. We're pushing up against the highs of the day right now. Highs of the overnight futures that. 1091 here, so it looks, looks good for tomorrow. I gotta get some sleep. I'm out of here.